Caught on camera, a West Palm Beach family loves their home, but they say they can't live there because it's being taken over by vultures. And security cameras captured the birds making a mess. It's a disaster. It, it, it's, laugh, it's a laughable disaster. It's, it's, you can't make this up. That's why it's laughable. This is Anthony Casimano's backyard. His pool area is overrun with vultures. They ripped all the screens out like you see right now. Um, they threw up, they pooped all over the place. Um, they ripped that uh, pool fence down that you see around the pool. Casimano says that was the first time he spent $3,000 repairing everything, and then he got an alert on his phone from his security system. There's motion in the yard, so I check it out, and there are literally, there must have been 100 of them there. This is a time lapse over several hours. You can see vultures everywhere. Casimano lives in the Ibis community in West Palm Beach. He says the vultures have forced him and his family to leave their home and move to New York. I have a, a, a two-year-old daughter that I can't bring down there while the situation's happening. They'll, they'll probably attack her. And it's not just the Casimano's house that the vultures seem to enjoy destroying. Their neighbors took these pictures, different yard, same problem. The president of the Ibis Property Association says they're doing everything they can to keep the vultures away. He says the problem is that one homeowner keeps feeding the vultures, and that person has been given a citation, was given a fine, and was even handed a legal cease and desist letter, but the resident still occasionally feeds the birds. Casimano has tried to do things himself, placing helium balloons around the area. He also plays music all day long, anything to keep the vultures away. We have to get the situation taken care of before we come back down there. I'm not going to come down there and walk into a mess. Well, the community now has security patrolling the area more frequently, <laughs> trying to scare the birds as best they can, but they keep coming back. That is crazy. Imagine <laughs> having to move to New York because of that. I wouldn't want to be around that, that's for sure.